Keyframes are a fantastic way to control the levels in your effects or to add animation and movement to your video clips. This tutorial goes through the basics of adding keyframes to a video in order to animate movement. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is double click on the clip that you plan on adding keyframes to, which will allow you to get into the effects control tab and monitor, revise any pre-existing effects or to add keyframes. And then you'll find things like motion and opacity that are already listed. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add keyframes to uh, motion which will allow us to do a little zoom in uh, or reposition of the video clip. Click on the arrow next to motion in order to view more options. In order to activate the keyframes, click on the stopwatch located next to the effect. Um, you only have to select this once in order to activate it, and once you do, a keyframe is automatically added to the clip, which can be seen here. The keyframe looks like a diamond and is added wherever the timeline indicator is at. In order to add more keyframes, you just have to move the timeline indicator later on in the clip and then change the value of the scale size. By increasing the size of the clip, or the scale, we're adding a digital zoom on the video. You'll see that immediately a new keyframe was added just by me changing the, the, the scale size. Okay, I'm going to move the timeline indicator back to the beginning so we can see the motion caused by these two keyframes. And we can see that it zoomed in pretty quickly. That's because the two keyframes are sitting pretty close to each other. So we can easily change that by moving the second keyframe down further in the timeline. By changing the position of the keyframe, we have a much slower zoom in on the video clip. And you can see the value of the size of the clip changing over time. No matter where the timeline indicator is at, if you change the value of the scale, a new keyframe is automatically added. So you see that I just added a keyframe and went way down and it zooms way out. The pacing of the animation depends on how close the keyframes are to each other. Uh, keyframes can easily be deleted. You just simply select the keyframe you no longer need and hit the delete. We can add keyframes to the position of the video as well. Activate the position here by clicking that stopwatch and you'll see immediately a keyframe was added. Move the timeline indicator to a place on the timeline and then change the value of the position in order to add the second keyframe and then move the second keyframe further down the timeline in order to slow down the effect of this animated tilt that we're putting on the video clip. I just added another keyframe in the position so it's gonna tilt down a little bit and then it's gonna tilt back up. Cool. You can also move multiple keyframes um, at the same time, you just have to make sure that they're highlighted or selected, and you know that they're highlighted or selected when they're yellow. So just click the cursor and drag. And to reiterate, anything with a little stopwatch next to the effect is capable of keyframes. You can see that the rotation, the anchor point, the anti-flicker filter, all of those are capable of keyframes or capable of uh, changing over time. Even effects like contrast and color correction, you can adjust those over time. If you select the uh, stopwatch again, uh, you'll turn off the keyframe capability. So with the opacity as well, you can change the level of opacity simply by toggling open the options and adding a couple of keyframes. Those are keyframes in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and um, happy animating. <laughs>